And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Fires up next on Best of One Day Monday. That's what we're doing today. We're playing Best of One Decks because it's Monday. And this time we're going Fires of Invention, Nickel Bullets, Dragon God. Uh, we're going to be trying to outgrind our opponents with Grixis Control with some pretty sweet cards here. As y'all know with, with Grixis decks, like this is probably not a deck that, that's new to you. Um, you know, Fire Zone Invention allows you to play two, two spells a turn as long as they have uh, CMC less than or equal to how many lands you control. So it, it rewards you for building um, some top heavy decks where you can have where you can play two four mana cards, two five mana cards, and so on each turn as long as you have four lands. Um, and so the games that you don't have Fires of Invention, you may have too many expensive cards stuck in your hand kind of thing. But that that happens. Um, of course, with Fires of Invention, Drawn from Dreams is absolutely amazing of helping you hit your land drops, helping you, you know, digging through your library, looking for um, whatever you need there. And of course, same with Fae of Wishes. We got three of Fae of, Fae of Wishes in here as well. I do like in best of one, playing Fae of Wishes as a two-mana 1-4 quite a bit also to just be a good early blocker against the aggressive decks. But then, of course, we're playing this because of the Granted card. With Granted, we get to look, <clears throat> go to our sideboard and grab something. And that's really powerful in best of one, having another 15 cards that you have access to <clears throat> to be able to grab depending on the situation at hand just to be able to tutor them up that's really really powerful in best of one um so that's what we got going on in here instead of the fourth drawn from dreams i'm playing one jace because I, I really like how uh jace can just be repeated card advantage over and over and over again you know drawing us a card every single turn you know same with nickel bolus dragon god how those cards can do that i really like that a lot to where if you just have a handful of drawn from dreams <clears throat> while, you know, casting one, it's pretty powerful. If you just have a bunch of them, it's not so good. Like, while your opponent's, like, you know, attacking you and everything, you don't you don't necessarily have time just to sit there and cast Drawn from Dreams forever. So being able to just play a Jace one time and get your extra cards there and not have to worry about continually uh, playing, you know, using it as one of your two spells. Because when you only get two spells a turn, those spell you know, it is very valuable to make sure you get the most out of those two spells. And speaking of getting the most out of uh, those two spells, we got a re repeated reverberation, both in the main and also another one in the sideboard. And this card is really, really powerful with Fires of Invention. Because at four mana, this card's kind of too expensive to play and then to play another big spell afterwards in a normal game because, you know, it's just that's just too much mana. But whenever we have our two spells for free, we can play re repeated reverberation and then play something else, and uh, it works out just fine. So repeated reverberation copies your next spell or loyalty ability twice. So you get to cast or activate three of three of the the cards. So like let's just say you're gonna go re repeated reverberation, then bedevil. So you cast three bedevils. You know, it does say that you only get to cast two, but I mean, you're, you're really you're just copying it. So it's it kind of lets you get away, get around that. So you get three bedevils in a turn with that. You can have three drawn from dreams. You know, look at the top seven cards, then seven again, then seven again. You know, you're looking at 21 cards and choosing six, which is amazing. Obviously, with Fae of Wishes, it's awesome. You cast it, then you go granted. Uh, you get to go choose three cards from your sideboard. So it's 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 uh yeah, you just go go choose three cards. Um, much better than just choosing one card. Um, but then also it said loyalty ability. So think about Nicol Bolas's first plus one. So you you play rever repeated reverberation, and then you tick up Nicol Bolas. <clears throat> so you do that ability three times. You only do add one loyalty to Nicol Bolas, but still you're going to draw three cards, and your opponent exiles three cards from their hands or permanents they control. That's really devastating. So yeah, repeat rever reverberation is pretty awesome. You know, Liliana minus four. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Do that three times. Sacrifice six creatures. You just you know turn it into a wrath. Um. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff here. So that that should be a fun one. Hopefully we get to do that one. Uh. And you know, obviously repeat rever if we get to pair that. If you you know cast cast Fey and go grab casualties of war. 
and then reverberation casualties of war and cast this card three times destroying three lands plus you know three creatures and planeswalkers and everything that's really devastating um plain white celebration three times just that's <laughs> i don't know you just get all of your cards back from your graveyard create as many tutus as you want gain just tons and tons of life you know you could just gain uh 48 life if you want <laughs> you can do whatever you want so yeah there's there's some some pretty crazy stuff that we get to do with repeated reverberation you can go triple onward ego if you want all right but anyway um yeah so let's let's give us a try hopefully re repeated reverberation is going to be really cool for us yeah re repeated reverberation plus casualties should be awesome Ooh, i need some we need some sleeves on here we don't want to play a deck without sleeves gotta sleeve up these cards don't want to damage this digital pr property here i usually I've, I've usually found that i i don't do very well whenever i use the actual let's use these ones whenever i use the actual um nickel bolus sleeves in my nickel bolus deck it's like bad luck for me Oh, yeah, maybe I should have gone Ugin Sleeves. That's a good one. All right, Rex. So we got to... We got to... Uh, <laughs> he's a Mythic Qualifier ones to flex extra hard. So we need to uh, go 7-0. We'll see. We may, we may go 7-0. I don't... So, yeah, I don't think we've ever gone 7-0 with any deck, any best of one deck yet. That We've gone 6-1 a whole lot. We 6 1 to bunch. But we've never 7 0 So I'm glad I didn't just go 3 Bedevil. I went 2 Bedevil, 1 Murderous Rider because I wanted to. I wanted to be able to cast the actual Murderous Rider sometimes, but I didn't want to always like lose the two life. The life's a really big deal in this deck. That's why we're playing all these Interplanar Bacons. Too, too, too many times. Um, I mean, Castle's just amazing with fires, so I guess we just keep it. I don't have another blue land right now. But we're, we got plenty of land, so we know we could just get to grab two spells with this thing. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I really should have seen that coming. No, yeah, whenever you use Reverberation, it doesn't... Reverberation doesn't change the loyalty counters on your Planeswalker. You just use the ability multiple times. It you don't. It doesn't add or subtract loyalty counters, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy they did not pick fires. I'm happy they took the Drawn from Dreams instead. I don't, I don't know if they have, like, removal for fires of invention. If, you know, like, they, they have a plan for it. I can't, I can't really say what they should have taken without knowing their hand, but I'm, I'm glad to have fires. Uh, the thing is, is Drawn from Dreams could have just found another fires, but I, I couldn't cast the Drawn from Dreams that turn, of course, as we know. Yeah, Doom for Told. Yeah, they have it like a Doom for Told. Yep, that's all they need. Right on schedule. Because like like bouncing, it's not really that big a deal. Because I I can just play it again and then play something else. Don't worry, 
not that big a deal. So I like what they're doing with um, that go according to plan. bouncing those. Well, we we just drawn our second, third, and fourth swamps. There's four swamps in the deck. Those are pretty good draws. I, I can't activate castle. I don't have... You have to have two blue to activate it. I only have one blue. That's why these swamps are just devastating. Because at least if we would draw a land, we want it to be a blue land. Okay. It's possible I need to keep Ritual of Soot, because if they go dance and bring all these things back, I need to be able to kill them. It's possible I should Ritual of Soot instead of Narset. But no, I guess I guess they draw lots and lots of cards, and that's bad for me. Present and future. Hone Uh, that was that was the problem with with minusing Narset. Is Narset did die to the guy? Uh, you are a mighty warrior. I probably should not have minus Narset. Proceed. Another land that's not a blue land. The whole of the we don't really. We have. <laughs> I was going to say, there's only one other land in the whole deck that's not a blue land. That's that's all of them right there. Besides the Interplanar Beacons, we have four Swamps and four Blood Crypts. All the other like lands are blue lands. Uh, and we drew it. That's crazy. Well, might as well play this thing. Yeah, not only flooding, but flooding with the worst possible lands. <laughs> we have... The Interplanar Beacons don't tap for, for blue, and then the Blood Crypts and the Swamps. And we have all four Swamps, all four Blood Crypts. That's great. I will return one day. We could really use a Fae of Wishes. Fae of Wishes, Casualties of War, blow up this Castle Vantress. Oh, never mind. They're just going to dance right now. I guess Fae... Oh, no, because Fae, I have Ashiok. I would have just gone and grabbed Ashiok. Right? I have Ashiok in here, right? Oh, no. Did I take out Ashiok? There's no Ashiok in my deck? Uh, I guess I have Unmordigo. I had Unmordigo and... And go grab dance with Amordigo. Alright, so they're just going to turn their card into a draw four. They're looking for Doom Foretold. Hopefully I don't find Doom Foretold. Darn. Well, for it. I definitely feel like we probably should have won this, but... We... Or how slow my opponent was, but we just had so little for so long. 
unfortunately. So should I... Huh. I think I'd rather casualties than planar. Yeah, casualties is better than planar. So it's, e it's either casualties blow up the Doom Foretold and blow up their land. Or it's Ego. I think it's Ego. Oh, I didn't grab the one from the graveyard, but whatever. Alright, so they have a Karn and a Fae of Wishes in their deck. That's unfortunate. They just drew that right away. That's unfortunate. So play Fae for two, play the other thing for four, and I just have four mana left. Exactly sure what I'm going to do here. I wish I could casualties of war. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go.
Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I guess like my, my best option was like thought distortion, I guess. Yeah, I just I wasn't gonna be able to really play that bolus. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have un like if I don't on Mordigo dance, like they're just gonna kill me with that dance though. Like I was just gonna die to dance. So if I would have if I would have casualties of ward and, and blown up like their land and and the doom foretold and to be able to keep my fires around, that they would have just played dance and I would have died because they would have just got doom foretold back and everything. I just I needed um I need that Fae of Wishes or just something a lot earlier. We just spent way too many turns just doing nothing there, obviously. If one of our last six lands that we drew was blue instead, so we could have been scrying for a lot more turns, it would have helped quite a bit. All right, now this time I need to find black mana. So we need another black source for this Krath Carnarium here. So we'll be shocking into a steam vents next turn and surveilling, looking for black mana or fires of invention. Basically anything else is going to the graveyard. I kind of just need, that's not a good card to draw. I kind of just need black mana right now. Well, we can play Narset next turn, and Narset helps find Fires of Invention. I, mean, I guess that's that's better than just... I think that's better than putting in the graveyard and just looking for a random card and just hoping we draw a Black Source for Cry. Obviously. <laughs> well, I'm glad we kept the Narset. This game actually looks pretty good for us. As long as the Cry can really do some work. Because we have... Next turn we go Fire's Cry. And then the turn afterwards we go Repeated Reverberation with Nickel Bolas Tick Up. So we draw three and they exile three. After we cry away all these. Oh, did they find another shepherd? I hope they didn't find another shepherd. Well, I guess that's what they... I guess that's what they... They did. Yeah, last day for ice cream. Yeah, now time Yeah, time for hot chocolate. Gotta move... Move to hot chocolate now. Such violence is upsetting. The hot chocolate truck. Unfortunately, yeah, they have the Shepherd. That's how they were playing. So they get to bounce that thing. That's unfortunate. Oh, and I guess I need to draw a land to play Nicol Bolas anyway. Hopefully we draw a land here. Or if not, I'll just draw it and look for another Sweeper, I guess. Yeah, we're not in a bad spot. Alright, so we're going to take land... And another sweeper. It's always good to have backups to the backups. I guess that's really just a backup. You 
immortal, the cold bolas, will be your end. So I could have I could have grabbed another drawn from dreams instead of the sides. I have other schemes to attend to. <laughs> you have no my schemes have been foiled. Let your I will return. My intellect is without limit. I might have been forgetting to, to castle. But yeah, we're good. We good here. Repeat of reverberation. It's like a six for one. I get, yeah, I get three cards. They have to get rid of three cards. So that was awesome. Yeah. Actually, I mean, Bolus's ability three times. Pretty devastating. I think the one's devastating. Alright, so good. That's exactly what we were trying to do here with this deck. Oh, I need to get I need to get my thumbnails over here. Alright, uh, best of one. Abs and wolves. All right, good thing we got Fires of Invention, so we can keep this hand here. To know to craft first in arena, fun cards or a decent mana base. Yeah, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. Um, I, I personally would probably craft the fun cards because it's about having fun. It looks like we may be playing against Simic Flash, and if that's the case, we're just gonna lose. This is our definitely our worst matchup by a mile. Okay, yep, it's Simic Flash. So, GG. This is you know, like it's you're not gonna beat everything, and this is this is the deck that we're just by playing Grixis Fires, we're just not gonna beat Simic Flash. And that's just how life is. <laughs> Wizards needs to put more counter spells in standard because sometimes there's turns where my spells resolve against counter spells and that's not fun.
We got the second ambusher. <laughs> That's awesome, Matthew. Yep, second ambusher. GG's. I mean, that game, the game is over whenever they countered Fires of Invention. That was the entire game. If Fires resolved, we had a chance. It didn't. We didn't. It's okay. Sometimes you're going to have matchups where you're just going to lose. And it's, it's okay to accept that. Yeah, Deckmaster hasn't been working the last few days. I don't know what's wrong with that. But ever since, like, Friday or Saturday... It hasn't been working. All right, good hand. Good hand. This is a lot like last hand, except for we actually have... Um, blue mana this time. Like, we have the ability to cast Thought Erasure. Last time we didn't. So if it is Simic Flash again, we'd have the Thought Erasure. Um, well, can't really do anything about turn 2 Oko. My, my discard spell is too slow. Yay, not turn 2 Oko. All right, what you got over here, opponent? Nisa, Nisa. All right, we'll take one of them. And then I'll be casting Cry the Carnarium here. I don't think... Crisis of the pick. We get rid of the. Yeah, because I'm not. I'm not too worried about crisis. I wish I could Casualties of War next turn. That'd be really be a good one. It's a matter of give and take. Hopefully they don't have <clears throat> land. Darn. This land, we are all connected. So I'm gonna have five mana. The land shall conquer you. I don't want to grab with five mana. That hurts. It's always an answer. Both those turns definitely hurt. And we have to kill Nissa. So I could go Elder Spell and put two counters back on. Like that was, I was kind of thinking of that of Elder Spell to have Jay survive this forest attack. But it won't survive the forest attack now. So I guess it's either that or Nicol Bolas. But Nicol Bolas they just kill also. Yeah, that, that uh, Paradise Druid really hurt. Yeah, it's a creature for casualties. Um, I mean, I, I, could, I could just grab casualties and wait, but I, I don't think that's what I should be doing.
Sorry for your cause. And then with them drawing this land, they still get to attack and draw two cards with Krasis. Uh, opponent's not making it easy on me. That's for sure. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah, that's the plan. Set up reverb plus casualties here. Destroy creature land, creature land, creature land. Put them down to three mana. As long as they don't have a counter spell. If they're not going to use their mana otherwise, why are they not just sacking these things to gain life? They got Brazen Borrower? No. That's pretty devastating. <laughs> They have no, they don't have it they don't have things left to exile. Oh man, triple casualties of war. So refer, repeated reverberation has been awesome. Yeah, re repeated reverberation been really cool. Glad we're playing one in the main, one in the sideboard. Yeah, we blew up the artifacts too. We got three artifacts, three lands, and three creatures. That's pretty good. That was worth. And also the triple Nicol Bolas activation that we had earlier. Yeah, I, I guess I could have just taken the, the breeding pool. Yeah, I guess I should have. I just got rid of the forest, but yeah. How's the hand? Not very good. Sorry about that. Gotta change something real quick for the Abzan Wolves upload. Okay. All right, we'll try this with the double temple. Cause I guess at worst, hey, there we go. I say at worst we have turn we have Narset on the play. Possible I should have just taken Nissa. And they play Oko and then I kill the Oko with this. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe I should have taken that Nissa. I know eighty eight. I have just the trick for this. Um. Please no land, please no land, please no land. Please no land. Hopefully it didn't top deck land. What's up, Forex? No, they top deck the land. Ugh. Thanks for that sub there. Three seven. Power surges through these lands. Because obviously, if we if we're casting Ritual of Set next turn, the game's basically over. This was overwhelming. I guess I know I'm not going to play Nicol Bolas next turn. So we can just save the two life and not have to shock next turn. Because I'm going to be playing... Like, I'm... I'm 100% playing Ritual of Sight. Oh my gosh. We will not fail. Well, we're going to have to destroy all their lands. Rise, my elemental friend. Which we can do. I, mean, I guess they're only going to be left with four cards here. One breeding pool, one Nissa, and these two things. I think that's still worth that over overcasting Bedevil. Um. So they could play a Krasis for two if they don't draw a land. The land fights for us. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go Bedevil first. I'm not too worried about um, <clears throat> anything they can play from here. I'm 
I got the extra food tokens for like my Nissa tick up. For my nickel bolus stick up. I think I said Nissa. I said Nissa. I meant nickel bolus. I'm pretty sure we got this one. I have other plan. I outsmarted you eons ago. So we're gonna be 2-0 against the Simic decks. As long as we get this. That's pretty good. All right, yeah, yeah, we're working on, working on getting the perfects. They're down to three permanents. Witness a moat of my power. Hmm. Can you find? There's fires. The card that I was going to be saying that we need to find. How do I destroy two lands? I cannot exploit. Hopefully, I don't concede. Yay. Obviously, I could minus eight to win the game, but I gotta get the perfects. Gotta have no, no, no cards in hand, no I permanence. Have schemes to attend to. Let your weak nothing minds crumble. I will return one day. I outsmart my revenge. Will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Nothing. Um, here, I'll play you. Ugh, gotta get rid of this land. So we'll grab casualties. Destroy target land. And then minus eight. The perfects. Fate of the weak. We got a, a, a clean victory. No cards in hand, no permanence in play. I didn't exile the graveyard. I don't know if that, it should still count. Nothing in play, nothing in hand. Oh, yo, y'all want, want me to reset arena? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that should count as a 7-0, right? 
Three Nissos, two Okas. Yep. Get them all down. Yeah, oh yeah, opponent opponent was very nice for letting me do that and not conceding early. Yeah, good sport opponent for sure. Alright, so three and two, three one against non Simic Flash. You know, against some um we know that Simic Flash is just going to be a loss, so, you know, whatever. Waticus with the Tier 1 sub. Thank you so much there, Waticus. <laughs> Our seventh sub of the day. Okay, we're going to mulligan that. 26 lands and that's it. <laughs> Rex totally counts. Thank you so much there, Rex. Donating there because we, we got a perfect win. I mean, we're just going down to five. And here we go. <laughs> the cat butt's your favorite Twitch emote. That's such a good one. So I don't have red mana right now. So it's hard to have inventions without red mana. It's time to build Jund Ponza with rever reverberation and casualties. Yeah. Maybe we should have been doing that with when Field of the Dead was a deck. You know, fires, reverberate, casualties of war. Even reverber reverberation with, um, I don't know, reverberate trophy. Trophy a bunch of stuff. Not so bad. <laughs> Bone, it was obviously a plant. <laughs> See, at first I thought you meant perfect as in like 7 0 perfect. That's what I thought you meant. Like if we get a 7 0 with any of the decks at first. Not, not a perfect win as in exile all their stuff. All right, just draw red land. Need to draw red land. Yay. Okay. Hmm. Reverberation plus bacon to a pie. Is that like sack three creatures? Okay, no, that's that's destroy a creature, make a food. That, I thought you were talking about the sack three creatures, make three food card. Um, what can I do about that? I got four mana. Ooh, figured it out. I was like, Ritual, so it's not going to cut it. Hmm. All right, we just got to hopefully draw land here. Don't. This is all. Let's think this. Through. Yay. Oh, 
whole of the multiverse will bend to my honor. Perish! Alright, let's cry first. It's Thought Erasure too, actually. So this is a 3-1, this does 5 damage. I'll take the thing that does 5 damage. Alright, a good, a good scry and a good surveil. Got rid of two useless cards. There's always an answer. Hmm. Another useless card. Another I useless card. Other schemes to attend. Let your weak minds crumble. I was hoping to draw re repeated reverberation and would be able to repeated reverberation and um, the nickel bolus. That's what I was hoping. But now now we'll be able to go grab repeated reverberation. But still, let's see. That only exiles three things. Uh, I should probably just get a sweeper. Oh, wait. Well, let's see. We'll see what they do. All right. They're going to kill... My poor Dragon God. It's alright, Dragon God, you did good. Let's try this. Man. Bunch of poor cards. Um Probably just enter the God Eternals. Plain White Celebration isn't bad either, though. Mm, I don't have that cool stuff to return. If I casualties, I blow up Torbrand and I blow up one of their lands. They only have three lands, so putting them down to two lands is probably nice also. We'll, we'll grab Enter the God Eternals, though. It really doesn't like when I'm looking at sideboards and looking at graveyards and stuff like that. That's like where the It's like where more lag happens. Will it? I'm not so sure it will come in handy. All right. Yay. Four and two with one more match to go. One more game. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was kind of a flood there, but that's the great part about Fae of, of Wishes. It doesn't matter if you flood out, you just discard those lands and keep being able to replay stuff. So you're good to go there. Yeah, Orzhov Sacrifice next. Yeah, 6-1 with Wolves. That was, a, that was good. What do we got? We got a keepable hand. Click that, click that, keep. Click this button. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We'll go Watery Grave. Temple of Epiphany. We got a mirror match.
Yeah, I'd, yeah, I had six lands in a row there. That's all good. Though. Um. Sure. So they're going Jeskai. I wonder why they played the Fae of Wishes immediately. Like, were they scared of me thought erasuring it away? If you wish to hone your prowess. That's a great card. Sargon's gonna kill me pretty fast. I fight with a dragon's rage. I should have just cast Auto your last turn. Just the trick for this. I was my plan was to then this turn reverberate the Fey and then get three cards. That was my plan. Not good. Oh, I thought we were winning this one for pretty easily at like the beginning of the game, whenever we thought Razor them. Those were a couple of really good. I don't know. My my opponent hit pretty well with drawing like the shimmer and all this other stuff. So, yeah, this this was going to be a really nice plan set up for the next turn though. I get. Obviously, this just would have been game over. But unfortunately, they had something to deal with it. Unfortunately. If I draw Nicol Bolas, I could reverberation Nicol Bolas minus and just kill both of these. Very too.
Man, I thought we were going to be winning this. But, yeah, I guess I, I need to play the, the Thought Erasure instead of going and grabbing Reverberation. That was the turn I lost it. That was definitely the turn I lost this. I did not have as much time as I thought I did. I can't just be Bedevil. <laughs> I can't lose the life. Oh, this is Bedevil. You go reverberate Bedevil these. They obviously picked this up, but... Look at the list. So my options to not die immediately are Elder Spell or Chandra or Planar Cleansing. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Hey Fred, doing good? I was way too cute with getting this reverberation. That was that was the turn that killed me. I can only cast two spells a turn. So I can't I can't play these other things. With fires, I can only play two things a turn. I've been playing two things a turn every turn. That helps out my planar cleansing plan. I know that doesn't. More than you could learn in a Secrets manifest before you. I can't cast spells on my opponent's turn. You can only cast spells on your turn. Doom. I can create or destroy.
I could re now I can reverberation and step. I'll do that instead, though. So do I want to ditch both of these? And then put Faye back in my hand. I have to spend four mana on Faye. If I tick up, I don't actually draw a card because the Narset, but it does make them exile something. They're just going to exile the 2-2. Two -two. Alright, well, as we talked about, get, going and getting the reverberation was just the, the turn that I lost that. I needed to cast Thought Erasure instead. So that was that was the big mistake there that game. Alright, but that's Grixis Fires. Fun deck to play. Uh, just know, you know, like you're going to lose to uh, Simic Flash, but that's okay. So we're four and two in non Simic Flash games, but also that that last one, if I make a different decision there, you know, if I just cast that Thought Erasure, that could have been a whole lot different game than what it was. Um, but pretty pretty fun deck to play though, and re repeated reverberation was a lot of fun. That's kind of why I grabbed it that last one because we we had uh, some really cool re repeated reverberations earlier. Um, I did set it up so I could have had. Casualties plus reverberation if my opponent didn't have an answer, but they did, unfortunately. All right, that's Grixis Fires. Fun deck to play there in best of one. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it too, and if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And, of course, don't forget to leave some comments. I would appreciate that as well. But thanks for watching Grixis Fires, and I'll see you for the next video.